Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. This is the one you've been waiting for, free games, one video. We're starting off with Bristol Rovers at home tonight, but I'm just at the gym. I'm doing a little bit of extra work, stamina sessions, get on the treadmill and get this day started. Watch yourself. Boys are playing Bristol Rovers at home tonight. Not quite fit enough to make the squad. However, I will be back involved on the weekends against Barnsley and then hopefully starting a game against Charlton. Just rocked up at the gym. I need to stay on top of my fitness levels. The boys are down in Bristol, so I'm trying to do a little bit of extras while they're playing so that when I am called upon, I'm ready to go. I'm feeling sharp, fit, and I'm able to perform well. So when it comes to building endurance, increasing your stamina, I like to combine anaerobic fitness with aerobic fitness and also fartlek training. Come on the treadmill today, just because it's gonna get dark outside in a minute. I'm actually gonna do a fartlek run, which is probably the most beneficial and specific for transferring your fitness levels from the treadmill or outdoors running onto the pitch. I did lower the price of my stamina program for you guys in my last video. I brought it down to 9.99 for three days, but I think a lot of you missed out on that. I had a lot of messages saying, can you bring the price back down? to 10 pounds so what i'm going to do is bring it back down now the session i'm doing today is actually in the program it's a really really good one for another 72 hours it will be just a tenner let's get your hands on the stamina program and um implement some really really good sessions into your training Also, when you are running on the treadmill, make sure that you put the incline on level one to replicate outdoor terrain, the pitch, whatever it may be. <laughs> Bro, how many deliveries have you got? Am I? They're all That's not. lilies. Turmeric oh, some turmeric again. shots. Yeah, what, what, are you you then? what are you saying, bro? Toby, backgrounds, Bolton owner. They are praying for a loss tonight. We've got the Wicked Boys on the laptop, Bristol Rovers away, we need to win. If we win this, we go within three points of Bolton with a game in hand. I think their goal difference is a little bit better than us, so it's kind of like they've got four points more than us. Unless we like come up with some big wins from somewhere. What do you reckon, Toby? I am still a Wickham fan, remember? He's a Wickham fan, but he owns Bolton, so. Well, I don't what own What do you Bolton, expect? My mum owns Bolton. Yeah, he said yeah. that in the last vlog. I don't own Bolton, my mum owns Bolton. <laughs> Chef Wed's away on Friday, which is probably the hardest game that we could possibly have. Once you got Chef Wed out of the way, though, your running's easy, don't it? Eight games, all in against teams in the bottom ten. You struggle against them boys, no? Oh, like Morecambe away and stuff. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Two minutes till kick off. Man City on the big screen. Come on. Some bird from the gym asked me to go for a drink with her. No way. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that, bro? Don't worry about that. Joey Barton's going to have his boys right after this as well, especially after the little, I don't know what you call it, a bit of commotion after our home game when we won during the Christmas period. You won't want to lose this one as well. A little date, yeah? Little date. How um, rational do I have to be on this vlog? Because I've got a few comments about Bristol Rovers that I'd like to share, but I don't know if I'm allowed to say them or not. You're not, man. You've got to be careful what we say around there. Ooh. Mate, the bar's looking a bit lively. He's lively, mate. TJ, TJ. I'm telling you, watch out for yeah. TJ. Nightmare to come up against some training. Him. <laughs> Go! Oh! Dangerous. Close. Very dangerous. Josh Goen, mate. He is some player. He'll be MOM again. He's MOM he, every he game. He's got the highest who scored rating out of any midfielder in League One. I think if you're, you're bearing down on goal, the last person you want to see charging towards you is, uh, is Max Trier. Maxi! This the Rovers cutting us open quite easy right now. It's not been a good start, Tobe, has it? Well, you're buzzing, but for us, it's been the terrible. The keeper is very, very, very good in one-on-ones. I said to Max, yeah, what do you think your strengths are? And he was like, 1v1s. He is actually a joke at 1v1s. Brandon Hanlon, come on! Big goal! I didn't even see it because Toby's ordered us a Turkish. Let's have a look at this. Yes, TJ, that's what he does in training. Oh, what a finish. Remember them FIFA finishes near post driven shots? That's one of them. Brandon, love it. I said to him he's going to score tonight as well. Toby, yeah, yeah, yeah. Toby's sweating. <laughs> I just Let's not pull up that league table right now. He's not said a word. Still 1 0, nearly half time. Boys are actually playing really well now. And the pen to Man City in the Champo League. Erling Haaland, he's going to miss. Here we go. Haaland. He's gonna miss. He's gonna miss. Oh, 
never doubt Erling Haaland there. Oh my what god! What did I just see? What is it? Wow. Haaland dunking on the rebounds. How many have you scored this season now? Like, that's not even funny anymore. About 94. Toby, what did you just ask? What did you just ask Lily? Do you ever just feel like the world's not real? Yeah. That's what happens when you're so good looking, it's just like the world just doesn't seem right. Yeah. 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 Once I got my camera out, I told you it was like, you're getting. Like, I've got anxiety about you discussing my anxiety on camera. <laughs> I, I can't relate. Like, the only time I said to Lily the other day, the only time I ever feel anxious is before a massive game. And if I don't have that anxious slash nervous feeling, I don't know if it's the same. Is that, is that anxiety? Uh, no, that's just like. It's not anxiety. It's that's like nervous. a bit of nerves. Yeah, it's like right in here in your stomach. But you no, said to that's me that's just what, nerves. Isn't that class is feeling anxious though? Mm, it's different. Yeah. Like anx anxiety like you Anxiety can be like crippling, can't it? <laughs> <laughs> Where you just like don't get out of bed in the morning. Like I'm getting anxious at and I'm not, I'm not taking the mic. I'm mocking anyone that's got anxiety because I know it is an actual thing. I see it every day with Lily. So <laughs> I'm getting really anxious. I'm, I'm getting really laughing. anxious that we're going to be three points behind Bolton and things like this. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we're catching Bolton. We are gonna. It's, do you know what is? I was saying to Toby, it's actually a shame that both of us can't make playoffs realistically with Derby and Barnsley just being in like unbelievable form and winning every single weekend. So it is unlikely, but how good would it be if we can met Bolton in the final? That's our best bet. We finish sixth. You finish fifth. That would be mental. We right? both win our game. We're with them at Wembley, and like one side of Wembley is full, and the other side is like a quarter. Oh, <laughs> wait, Wickham fans, get on his channel. I'll leave it down here now and give it and leave some abuse. No, I love Wickham, Wickham, really. Too. I went to Wickham home and away for twenty years, mate. So aren't enough. you banned? No, no. Got banned once for Oxford at home, all booted off. <laughs> but I am still a lover of Wickham. I'm just so I'm only missing. He is. Jim. <laughs> Go away, man. Yes! Jace, beautiful cross, right on the money. I said to myself, don't hang it. We've not got Vokes in there. He just whipped it right on Chem's nugget. Right on his nugget. No way. <laughs> yes. 2-0, we needed that nice little cushion. We'll grind this out now. Just defend, dig in. You know how we do it. Time waste. We've got this in the bag. Come on. I think every time you say, oh, we're gonna this isn't going to go our way. You just, you manifested a reverse win. I oh, know, that's exactly what I've done. I've been saying all night, we're not going to win this. We're not going to win this game. But deep down, I knew, I knew it was, I knew we were going to win. How's he saved that? <laughs> no, he hasn't. Yes. He has. Oh my God, what a save. No, mate, that is ridiculous. I was nearly crying. I was nearly crying. I was like, this is it, this is it. How is They're going to score, that? they're going to score. Every time I've said it, they've just had like a near miss. I'm just going to keep on doing it until the end of the game. Oh my God. Maxi, so clean like sheet king. High that. save percentage in the league, mate, for a reason. Do you reckon Bolton, the Bolton boys are streaming this as well? Oh my God. Oh no, here we go again. That's not a foul. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a cheap one. Yeah, this goes in. They're going to score. Know, they're going to they're gonna score this. Will under pressure. They're going to score this, I know. Holland oh, again! He, sco he scored five. Haaland scored five, free kick. Yes! Love it, boys. He's just, he's just always in the right position. He's not even a good player. I actually think I could beat him at two times. Mate, why is he always there? Like, how does that just fall to him every He's day? just an absolute sniffer dog, isn't he? With pace and power. Yes! Game, set, match, yes, chair boys. Buzzing. Love it. Don't forget your chips, Tobe. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, back in the match day squad. Oh my God, it has been long overdue. Barnsley at home. There's no two ways about it. This is a huge game. We have to um, capitalize on Bolton dropping points last night against Sheffield Wednesday, which is really good for us. So these are gonna be no pushover. I think they're one of the most, if not the most, informed team in the league at the minute. Well-structured, well-organized, with a little bit of flair up front. So they're gonna be a tricky opponent. Obviously, I'm on the bench. Hopefully, I'll come on, because that'll probably mean that we're winning at the time and I'm coming on to try and see the game out. If not, not a problem. Great to be back involved and hopefully start against Charlton next weekend. So let's get to the stadium and let's get this game underway. This is a huge one. See you afterwards.
Not the result we wanted, man. Honestly, nothing in the game. The only thing we were the better team. We kind of got a little bit too expansive towards the end and then caught us with a sucker punch. Good movement from a striker, gets across and then finishes near stick. <sighs> Come on, last 10 minutes. Get the cobwebs off the legs. Went up top for a little bit. Zero impact. And I've just done a bit of running after the game. Standard four on, two minutes off. Four sets of that. Try and get as close to a K each time. Go again, eh? We go again. We're still in this. Uh, head's gone. <laughs> Come on. Poisonous. Used to be diehard Wickham fans. Got the bands, like. Now they've uh, taken over Bolton. They're buzzing. Well, so, uh, Marzi scored today. Barris me in his, uh, so celebrates. Uh, Wickham have made some uh, some progress on Bolton. Uh, Tab, how do you feel about this weekend, bro? Still on. <laughs> Still on. We've got a game in hand. What a weekend. We're four points behind. Us. It was a good weekend oh. from Bolton. Like, it's still it's on. We've got this, trust me. Ahead. I need to find the form of my life for the remaining nine games. One final scan at OSD Healthcare. If this is all good. I think I've got a chance of starting Saturday against Charlton, which is just, do you know what? I say this every single vlog, but this will be the biggest game of our season because we have to win. We've got only a handful of games left now. We probably need to win about 90% of them to make playoffs. Like I said, time to find the form of our lives. Let's get onto this MRI scanner. Hopefully all clear, should be. Feels totally good now and uh, we're ready to go. Good morning! Game day, finally here! And this time, I'm starting. Charlton, huge game like I said before. We have to try and win, capitalise on Bolton who aren't playing today. Make up some ground on them. Peterborough are playing against Derby, so that's a huge game. We're actually travelling on the day today. Charlton's not too far away, so meeting a coach at the training ground shortly. But before I get in, let me talk to you guys about the supplements that I'm taking when it comes to a game day. Like I've told you a lot before, I always start loading up the night before on electrolytes just to make sure I'm going into the game as hydrated as possible, reduce the chances of getting any sort of muscle cramps. But I've actually implemented a few new new things now. I've heard really, really, really good things about. So let me show you what they are and explain them a little bit to you. So a company called Football Supplements, I think they're based over in Spain actually, have released what's meant to be a game changing formula that you have before you play a game. It's called Kickoff. This is actually the blue raspberry flavor. Today, before I go out for the warm up, so around 2.15 ish, I'm going to take three quarters of a scoop of this powder what does it help with apparently it's meant to really help with energy focus mental awareness and also endurance i've checked the ingredients already it's high in beta alanine which i've actually taken before works really well it's got caffeine in it obviously we know caffeine i would say is probably the one drug supplement whatever you want to call it that i actually swear by caffeine definitely works black pepper bioperine l tyrosine vitamin b6 vitamin b12 which is also brilliant because that basically just reduce tiredness and fatigue in the game also help with like brain function and stuff so that's really good so what we've got here is the energy gels vital for any footballer looking to optimize performance i'm gonna have one of these at half time hopefully i'm not but which i assume i will be blowing in the second half around 75 minutes i'll probably have another one keep it by the goal get it down me when we have a, a corner to defend or something i will actually let you know how i get on with these later after the game my first game back in six weeks i expect to be blowing out of my ass but let's hope that these supplements can carry me through and of course recovery shake 25 grams of protein 70 grams of carbohydrates plus electrolytes now that is game changing all to be consumed straight after the final whistle has been blown just to give myself the best chance in recovery comes with a nice shaker as well nothing in there at the minute obviously to hand i do have my own himalayan crystal salt just to put it in the drinks to help even more with reducing the chance of getting cramped because I am kind of prone to them. I'll leave a link down below if anyone jumps on it. Let me know how you get on with it as well. From what I've heard from actually really big players and some nutritionists out there is that these supplements are game changing. I think an ex-footballer created them himself so he's bound to know what we all need, what's going to work um, and I'll let you know how I get on with them. Let's get to the training ground and get three points today. Come on. <laughs> Best stadium, is it? No, this is very nice. It's up there in League One. P 
pitch ain't the best though, then I'm not better at Just gotta find a way to get three points today. Smack! They got a float! Cool, Chris! Jay, toes! Come on, Jay, toes, Jay, toes, Jay! Stop! What are you? Jay! Chris! Knock out! Come on, Josh! Go on, it's gone, Chrissy. Tight, Chris, tight. Jay, wingy. Jay, wingy, man. Down the box, Jay. Jay, turn. Look out, Chris. Left, bro. Left, Chris. Wingy, wingy. Well done, Chris. Okay, go really there. Chris, good job. Up. Good line. Back, come on. Chris, get your head on this. Wait, Jay. Try and get in between us. Ref. Ref. Do this one now, Chris. Swap, Chris. Swap, Chris. Because he's blocking, he's thinking, I'm marking in here, so I've got me. Well done. Chris, channel. Off to the gym, do a bit of recovery after the game. Not a result that we wanted, eh? One all. You know what? Beginning of the season, on paper, a draw away at Charlton would have been a good result, but because there's so little games left and we need as many points on the board as possible, we really were hoping for all three. And we should have got the win. We deserve to win the game based off of um, the amount of chances that we had in comparison to them. In the second half, there was only one team that was going for it. And on another day, we, we do come away with all three points. The keeper's pulled off a worldy save as well from Nick Freeman. Great strike with his left foot. But sometimes that's the way the cookie crumbles. We said after the game, look, we can't continue being 
the better team most games and not winning. But I think sometimes you can just get unlucky. How many times do you see the better team not come away with all three points? But I think the tide will change for us. And it's still all to play for. Look, Peterborough beat Derby, which keeps Derby in the mix, us in the mix, Bolton in the mix, and of course, Peterborough as well. So there's four teams there fighting for them. Two spots, fifth and sixth place in the playoffs. It's going to be an interesting end to the season. After obviously being out for so long, six weeks, I was feeling, well, I was kind of nervous that I wouldn't get through the game. And in terms of the game itself, do you know what? I have to say, I couldn't believe how good I felt. Minute one to minute 95, I was completely energized. I was worried, obviously, that I wouldn't get through the game just because you know what it's like going back into a 90 minute game after not I haven't played in any Razy games or anything like that. The supplements worked wonders. It felt great. Second half, not a twitch of cramp. Woke up this morning feeling like I could go again. It's crazy. Yeah, really, really pleased with the supplements. They were unreal and it'd be something that I'll um, continue to use going forward. That is for sure. I had a bit of a stinker though. First half, my flipping camera decided to stop recording the game. So that's why obviously the match footage is only from the second half in, which is a bit of a shame. We started pretty slowly, Charlton were on top of us, and in the second half, it was all us anyway. So listen guys, we have got an unbelievably exciting, intense, nerve wracking, eight games remaining. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, now's the time to do so, because I'm gonna be vlogging every single game from now until the end of the season. Hopefully we've got a, uh, another Wembley match day vlog pending that will be unbelievable leave a little like comment promotion if you watched until the end I'm gonna do a little bit of meditation in this relaxation room and I'll see you in the next vlog